my habit is large. THC helps give me a charge. Smoke in the room and it stink like a skunk. That's my favorite weed to put in a blunt in the sky parkour. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Tuba Marley and this is Certified Pothead. We're smoking on one of my late morning, uh, mid mid morning spliffs. Today we gonna be jumping into another one of these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around the Aztecs. Imagine a world where the key to advanced mathematics and astrology wasn't long hours of study or divine inspiration, but simply lighting up a joint. What if the Aztecs' remarkable achievements in agriculture, architecture, celestial alignment, and geometry were all sparked by a puff of sacred cannabis smoke? Sure, this might sound like something cooked up at 2 a.m. over a bag of Doritos, but walk with me for a second. Could the Aztecs have reached intellectual heights higher than we thought, literally? In this wildly speculative essay, I'm going to dive head first into the theory that cannabis was the secret sauce behind their genius. It's going to be a bumpy walk, but we're going to try to pull it off, peeps. The Aztecs were impressive. Massive temples, accurate predictions of solar eclipses, a calendar system that somehow outsmarts everyone's favorite end of the world Mayan theme. But what if we're missing the crucial piece of the puzzle? What if their intellectual achievements weren't just the result of hard work and celestial inspiration, but a little puff puff of some high quality ancient weed? If Plague Glorious said <laughs> that was wrong all the way. If Pythagoras, if Pythagoras could discover triangles while people were worshiping Zeus, maybe the Aztecs discovered Pi during a particularly hazy temple ceremony. Was cannabis their secret ingredient? Maybe, but Aztec temples are perfectly aligned with Venus, the sun, and the stars. Kind of like how you align your eyes on the TV after a long day of questionable life choices. But was this architectural precision born from deep mathematical study or something more cannabisical? <laughs> that's, that's, not, that's not a word, people. Maybe these guys were blazing it up and got really into stargazing. After all, when you're elevated, everything seems a little more profound like uh, how the birds outside are understanding your deepest thoughts could it be that during a cannabis ritual they hit upon a purpose the purpose purpose that's not the word the perfect cosmic alignment or did they think that star looks cool let's build a pyramid under it here's a riddle for you i glow at night but i'm not a star i stay by your side no matter how far i change my shape but don't go away what am i lighting up the lunar bay aztec pyramids are a testament to their love of symmetry and order but what if it wasn't the result of obsessive planning but you know the same feeling you get when you spend two hours trying to fold a piece of paper into a exact square maybe after a good hit of their sacred cannabis somebody thought you know what would be awesome a giant triangle like like a, like a, it's not that far-fetched after all one man's ritual is another man's geometry lesson and if cannabis smoke can make your living room couch feel like a lot, lot blah, 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 feel like a work of art, imagine what it can do for designing temples. Here's another riddle for you. I am born when stars collapse with a blast. A brilliant show, but I won't last. In the sky, I flare, then I fade away. What am I in this cosmic display? The Aztecs had a, a uncanny understanding of mathematical constants like pi. And while... We all like to think pie is something you discover at the years of study or a particularly confusing afternoon with a calculator. What if it was simpler than that? Imagine an Aztec priest high as a kite staring at the stars and suddenly it hits some circles, man. It's all about circles. The circularity of it all, man. Maybe he wasn't meditating on the mysteries of the universe, but just super into the way a tortilla looks from above and boom, pie. It's either that or an early form of stoner math that never made it into the top. here's another riddle for you. i twinkle and shine in the night so hot though i'm burning bright i seem small to the eye millions of years old and clusters i group what am i in the celestial soup the perfect joint it takes practice patient and a solid understanding of symmetry you could say it's almost mathematical now imagine an entire society of joint rolling masters could their love of well rolled joints have bled into their architecture and geometry i mean the whole thing is about ratios man 
Maybe they were the first to realize that if you could make a joint perfectly symmetrical, you can definitely design a pyramid. It's basically the same thing if you if you squint at it a little bit. Here's another riddle. I pull all things, but I'm never seen. I devour light, making the night keen. Once you cross my point of no return, you'll never escape, you'll only churn. What am I? Aztec astronomers were spot on when it came to predicting solar eclipses. But were they pouring over data or just lying in the field, staring at the sun and accidentally becoming early eclipse watchers? Maybe it was less about calculation and more about imagination. I swear the sun is going to totally disappear tomorrow. Trust me on this one. They could have just been riding a wave of cosmic connectivity, courtesy of cannabis, seeing the stars clearer than the rest of us are. You know, they just really had good instincts. It's got to be one or the other. The answers to the riddle. The moon, a supernova, a star, and a black hole. I'll see y'all on the next one, bruh.